So when he steps forward, I gotta walk forward. That would speed up your hand too. Let's work on that, falling into your kicks. Wing Chun kicks, the weight's never on this leg. A lot of Wing Chun guys think that, I don't know why. You kick a wooden dummy like that, you're on your ass. You look at Yip Man's kick, his weight's always on a wooden dummy, not on his feet. You do that when you're doing form, but not when you're kicking up. Just watch Yip Man a lot, because he's good. <laughs> yeah. People always argue on the internet about Wing Chun who's right, I'm like, Yip Man's right. It's like, that ends the argument. <laughs> Watch him, right? He falls on it, right? Go for it. Just, just put your leg up, like just a tension. Yeah. Wing Chun kicks look ugly, but they work good. Because there's no this. And there's no this. It, it's just very boring. It doesn't tell you that. It's from point A to point B, right? But there's a disadvantage. Because it's so direct, most people don't practice enough to get any real power out of it. Oh, yeah. Everything is a plus and minus. Nothing is all pluses, right? He's not going to let you. He's going to move away. And I'm going to telegraph him, right? See? See this kind of movement? Tells the guy I'm going to come in, so I'll never get him. He's going to let me. <laughs> Don't let me. I'm not, I'm not going to get him, right? So doing big movements like this, it's not good. I'm not going to. So. You want to practice not moving much. Now you can get up even if you're going relatively slow. So go slow and practice casually kicking a guy. What good is speed and power if you're telegraphing the guy moved away? All that speed and power in the world is no good if you don't hit the target, right? So just go slow and practice getting the The key is not to move this four joints. Think of it like a, like, a, like a card. You have a card, a king or queen, whatever, and then don't move the corner of the card. You move, if you move any of the corner, you're signaling to the guy. Which is good if you want to bait the guy, but for this drill, no. Cool? Try it. See, if you do that, you won't get him. If you do that, you won't get him. Because you're telegraphing. Like, don't let me do it. Get them, right? But if you don't telegraph, you get them. <laughs> so don't telegraph. So just raise your leg up. Want to do that? Just use your toe. Don't do a traditional kick. Traditional kicks with the heel, you're going to hurt each other. Don't do that. Just use the toe. <laughs> you're not wearing gear, right? So just use your toe and casually put your leg up and see if you can get them. And then, yeah. Then they got not the ball. <laughs> so again, you're working on not telegraphing. Don't move your shoulders. Don't make facial expressions. Don't turn your head. Power's no good if you can't touch the target. So work on no telegraphing. Belly. Good? Go for it. Yeah. Grab this guy, because you're already here. So now we just grab the guy and we kick him with that falling kick and that non telegraphic kick. Take him down if you want. Right? <laughs> so. And then go for the leg. So after you kick this, you can kick this if you want. Yeah. Kick here, kick the groin if you want. Kick the leg if you want. Just go slow though, you're not wearing any. Um, cool. Flops out, kick. Go for it. Yeah. 